There we are. That is one for sure. Oh, Spanish mackerel just come up to the surface. We're gonna swap out. Actually, we got two setups. I'm going to switch to a uh, smaller spoon. Let's get that set up. Fella just come up to the surface and there's a lot of mullet up here that's uh, forming like schools of bait right up against the rocks. And that's what you wanna see. Let's you know that something is pushing them to uh, get close together. All right, so there we go. Nice one ounce silver spoon. It's usually my lure of choice during this time of year whenever the Spanish mackerel and the uh, jacks come in. Speckled trout won't be too shy to hit something like this as well. There we are. So just giving it some action right up at the top. Got that bite. And first Spanish mackerel of the season, y'all. That felt really good. Really good. All right. It's pretty exciting. That's it right there. We're gonna make another move. I'm lucky enough right here, but not enough action to make me want to stay. So let's uh, continue down the jetty until we make our way to the end of it. It's a decent spot to plant ourselves. I'm going to continue going after the uh, Spanish mackerel, being that I know that I've already hooked into one. So we'll see if we can continue after that, maybe get lucky down here. We're almost towards the end of the jetty. That's one. That's a Spanish mackerel. There we are. Finally on the board, y'all. Spanish mackerel, first one of the season, and we can truly say that we got one, even though we hooked the one earlier today. This one right here, nice. Get this guy let go here in a second. Chill out, homie. I mean, it, when he hit, you can definitely tell we had one, but uh, afterwards is like, that was it. And there we are. Spanish mackerel of the season, definitely a keeper, but we ain't keeping anything today. So let that fella go and let's see if uh, we can turn that into something else like uh, constant biting because it has, I'm telling y'all what, far and few between. Quite a few jacks landed today, quite a few of them hooked and uh, they've broken off at the rocks. I'm hoping to get that one super strong bite and make something of it. Let's see what we can continue to, uh, or let's see if we can, ah, cramp. Let's see if we can get another bite and hopefully it'll be a jack. Uh oh, first cast, little spoon, and we already got hit. All right, we have no leader line on this fella right here. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Man, first cast on a tiny spoon. We're gonna have to put a big leader line on. All right, so the hook is okay, it just came off. That's all. That hook is fine. There we are. That is one for sure. There we are. Just letting it drop. That was a 10-1,000 count right there. Just gotta keep them away from these rocks. There's the rocks. There's the rocks. All right, buddy, shift directions. Come on, bro, shift. He's, he's right up in them rocks right now. Okay, we're, ah, there it is. Yeah, there was no stopping him. I mean, he went straight into them rocks right at the end of the jetties and there ain't nothing that you can do right there. We're gonna put a new leader line on. We have a few more salt native hooks with the uh, one ounce spoon. That's what we got hit on twice. So uh, we'll be right back as soon as we get another leader line on. Ah man, it's really tough. Those guys are so strong that you truly can't stop them in their tracks, especially when they first get hooked. I think we're gonna go with some 60 pound leader line and uh, hopefully it's not gonna affect my castability going out there. They're still here, that's a good thing. They've been caught all day long. It was just trying to figure out what it was that they wanted and another gentleman that watches the show actually told me that they didn't want the big two ounces. So uh, I had the one ounce tied on for the Spanish mackerel. So that's why um, I decided to start casting that a whammo. Two hookups, man, clean cut. Well, it's the last battery y'all. And uh, we don't make it happen with this right here. I just swapped out to a tiny little, I think it's a quarter ounce spoon, half ounce. But I put bigger split rings because I know if I, we hook into a jack, they're gonna just bend those split rings out. So we put the beefed up ones on from a different spoon. And then I also put on a beefier hook. So hopefully the spoon holds and it doesn't break because that took a little while to get it all taken care of. my hook and we got a fish <laughs> oh my gosh how do i get so lucky <laughs> look at that that is a keeper speckled trout and a nice one to boot look at this <laughs> oh my gosh i cannot make this up that is a gorgeous speckled trout right there Oh my gosh, I bent the hook free and this fella just decides to bite. It really hasn't been my day, but when something like this happens, oh no, no. Oh my gosh, you crazy fish. All right, we gotta get a rescue mission now. This fella, we didn't let him go to waste, but it took forever, so 
we're gonna give this guy away to the fella that you want a speckled trout? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for the water. No problem. <laughs> yeah. It took a little longer than I expected to pull that fish up, but it's not gonna go to waste, so all in all, not too bad. And that's all she wrote. We are done. I'm gonna come right back out here again tomorrow, so yeah, that's gonna do it for us today. Let's uh, go on ahead and end this one. Thank you so much for watching. Action was slow, but that's fishing for you. Sometimes it just doesn't go the way that you want it to. We put in some hours. It's not that the fish weren't biting. I just, I couldn't secure the bite. I mean, that was it. Um, we will bring some live bait, some shrimp, maybe a, a slip cork rig. I don't think I'm going to bring, bring both of the big guns out here. Uh, I only need one. And so we'll uh, leave this one at home, bring a spinning reel so that we can do the slip cork. I'm not too sure which combination I'm going to do, but I will bring the same spoon that I brought out from Salt Native to try and see if we can get another jack to bite. But uh, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button, please. For those of you not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy the content, then click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell icon so that YouTube will let you know whenever we drop a new video. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.